You think the Fed's doing too much, Richard. You've criticized that. Well, just listening to this good conversation, here's what we can say. The sign has changed. We're now in a reflation, regrowth mode. We know the direction where rates are going to go. It, the tenure is settling in at a nice little range here, somewhere between 150 something and 170. But as we go through time, with the employment numbers as good as they have been, you know, three states, California, Texas, and New York, created 3.3 million jobs in the April to April. So we know where things are going. We know what's going to happen to consumer spending. We have federal largesse still. And achieving the employment numbers now is much more possible. So I think the Fed will be very tender here and very careful. But it's clear at this next meeting there'll be some expression that comes out of it, probably in Jay's, uh, Jay Powell's press conference, that yes, indeed, they've begun to begin the beginning of thinking or whatever they're saying uh, about uh, slowing down monetary accommodation over time. So we know that's the direction that things are going. And I, a very good point was just made. I think market operators have become more comfortable with this. I would dispute that the inflation uh, tremors are over because the way businesses operate, you don't just change overnight. You're going to have to adjust their everything from capex to their spending patterns, uh, their receivables, and also their payables uh, to forces that will come into play over a year or two, certainly the rest of this year and next year. But I, I think there is more confidence in the Fed right now. Mm -hmm. I think they're handling it well. And to hear even the San Francisco Fed come out and give a nice dovish uh, or more hawkish comment. Yeah, Mary Daly. Be, yeah, that's a big sign. So this is a deliberately being engineered. I think they're doing a good job of it. It's not no longer just the Dallas Fed, my successor, Mr. Kaplan, but it seems to be a consistent message. And that's what you want. Market operators want to hear what the overall theme is and want to reduce uncertainty. Well, why do so we, I think they're why do we keep why do we keep looking over the Fed's shoulder, though, Richard? I mean, if you were still the president of the Dallas Fed, you, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want everybody looking over your own shoulder. You'd be like, what are you guys talking about? We're going to get it right. We know what we're doing. Why are we second guessing a Fed that hasn't made a mistake? They've yet to make a mistake. You can say right. that they've done too much for too long. That's different from making a mistake. Why are we suggestive that they're going to this time? Well, I don't think they are. I think it's a matter of timing. Again, we know the direction. The question is the speed with which they do it. And what they're clearly signaling is unlike 2013, with that deep scar still in our memory, we're going to tap on the brakes very, very slowly over time. And that gives the market, and I think it gives economic operators comfort. As long as the price pressures don't continue, the real debate here, is this going to be transitory or is it going to set in a behavioral pattern? And to that, we'll just have to wait and see. But I think they're doing the right thing here because you can't just, as my old uh, board chairman, Herb Kelleher, founder of Southwest Airlines, used to say, you don't go from wild turkey to cold turkey overnight. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that, that was Herb <laughs> Kelleher for sure. <laughs> What, they know that <laughs> tapping on the brakes. What they're doing, they're not taking the punch bowl away. Yeah, they're just diluting its potency over time. Let me ask you this: When? Oh, by the way, Kaplan is your your buddy. Kaplan's going to be on the closing bell today, so you have to tune into that interview too. Um, there <laughs> he is, Robert guy. Kaplan. Three o'clock today, closing bell. Um, <laughs> when does the taper start? Give me a ballpark. When? Well, I'm guessing it starts uh, at year end. So before calendar year 2021 is over, the Fed starts tapering and maybe they put the final thought into everybody's head in Jackson Hole and then they get the idea that they can do it. Does that sound right? I think that sounds like a good pace. Uh, I would be advocating for something along those lines, depending on how the data comes through. It's coming through just nicely presently. So, uh, yes, that's what I would remember. The balance sheet will be over eight point one trillion soon. 7.99 or whatever the heck it is right now. So you keep adding for a couple of months, you're going to end up 
with a very nice balance sheet. I know market operators, according to the New York Fed, are discounting a possibility of the balance sheet peaking at nine trillion next year, the end of next year. We'll see. Well, that shows you a slowdown rate. So I think this is being discounted now. That's my point. And we know where they're going. The question is when and with what speed. And I would suggest the speed will be <laughs> very slow in order not to create turbulence. It is now that we're recovering the economy, you don't want to upset the economy and undermine confidence. So